Welcome to Innovation Dialogue. I'm Diana Ding, and today we're going to talk about the story of IC Medias in Silicon Valley. And together with me is Vandana. Hi, Diana. Thanks for having me here. Yes, you know, this time we're going to share our story. It's not, it's not an interview, it's our chat. Yes. Yeah, we're going to share <laughs> our, our own stories. So when we talk about IC and we come out this name, so what is IC? Well, we're in the Silicon Valley, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So IC used to stand for integrated circuit, but here IC stands for Indians and Chinese medias yes. working together. Yes. And um, uh, IC, interestingly, is also India Currents, the magazine that uh, I publish. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a similar... Yeah, IC means Innovation Channel. So we are Silicon Valley Innovation Channel, Dimin TV. So IC means Indian Currents and Silicon Valley Innovation Channel. So we are the one really can talk about the story about IC. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been doing this for 30 some years. Uh, when did you start it and how you started? Uh, yes, it's 32 years mm -hmm. since we started. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought a copy for you to, show, first, to share with you the first very magazine. first uh, issue that we came out with mm -hmm. in April 1987. As you can see, it's a newsletter. Wow. And um, 1987. 1987, wow. yes. Now, this is the pre-internet era. You know, yes. a lot of people today cannot even relate to it. Mm -hmm. But um, even then, as new immigrants, you know, we were looking for ways in which we could uh, connect mm -hmm. with people. Mm -hmm. And actually, India Currents was born because of that, mm -hmm. because of that need. We see the, that old picture with three people. Are the funders, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's, um, I got the job because of nepotism. You know, my brother-in-law and uh, his partner and I, we were the three people that actually um, were part of the founding team. Mm -hmm. And the reason it started is because there was no way for the Indians who were living here in the United States at that time to actually connect with each other. Mm -hmm. And our vision was this would be a platform mm -hmm. uh, where if we found out about any Indian event, mm -hmm. we would actually list it there. Mm -hmm. It was really exciting for us, you know, because mm -hmm. this really started not with any ROI, not with a design of let's start a media mm -hmm. company, nothing mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. It was a labor of love. Yes. And it was a need that we had in our own lives. Mm. And this filled that gap. Mm. Isn't that how innovation really happens? Well, you know, for us, it's a similar story. <laughs> when I first started my company, no business model. We don't even know what are we going. But, you know, the passion is the same. Uh, I was working in a, a Chinese media company in the TV station. Mm. And I saw the technology about uh, live stream. So I thought, that's a future for TV. In, Everybody can watch the contents anywhere, anywhere. and interact uh, real time. So we started Dinding TV, and w w you know I had a partner, uh, which is a Jewish, um, you know, media uh, professional, David McCallis, and another is an American TV host, Tina Smith, and they are very good people, very nice people. But David was so passionate; he sent me 90 emails in one day. Nine zero. I said, David, you got a virus in your, your, your email. I said, no, no, it's me. He, he was so passionate, you know. We started this, we're thinking, you know, in Silicon Valley, uh, so many people came here, they want to learn about innovation, but there isn't a media focus on innovation, especially the ethnic group media. And we are the first one. So we, we featured the video because I was working in the TV station, so we started creating videos. And we have created uh, nearly 30,000 in these last 10 years. That 30, is... Solid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we, are, we are really crazy. Yeah. But, you know, when we first started, uh, we, we feel that there's a need and bring the community together. And also, as an entrepreneur ourselves, uh, we got some, you know, great advice from uh, advisors, some investors and the community leaders. So we want to share this information and help other startups. So we call ourselves Silicon Valley Innovation Channel. Also for Chinese community, we are the same, like what you did. We cover all the events and we feature the artists, uh, the community leaders and the companies and all kinds of things. We're so excited. But for the first seven years, we, we lost money. 
for first seven years. Oh, <laughs> I think that's a common uh, story for most people. You mm. started uh, mm. late. You're also talking about 90 emails a day. Mm. Well, we started at a time there was no emails, so no emails. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and um, so for this 30 years. No, no. It, when we started, 1987. Yeah, you yes. You know, and mm. uh, we started to fill a niche of connecting people mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And the content was sort of based on what's happening around mm -hmm. us, you know. Mm -hmm. But over the, in these last 30 years, mm -hmm. we have really seen the community change. Yes. You know, the, yeah. our, the Indian community was very small, you know, when I had it's first come small. here. It's not small, it's not small. It was It small. was small, <laughs> but right now it's That's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's grown uh, a yeah. lot. Yeah. And, um, and that has happened only in the late 90s mm -hmm. when we really had mm -hmm. the internet boom and we had um, mm -hmm. a lot of the legacy systems. We always talk about uh, the year Y2K mm -hmm. as being a mm -hmm. seminal year for mm -hmm. Indian immigration. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if many of your readers or uh, viewers know that Indians were not allowed to immigrate to the United States until the Civil Rights Act was passed. Mm -hmm. And so compared to the Chinese community, we are a very new community to the United mm. States. It's yeah, only you, been 30, 40 years. Well, I, I always admire Indian community, uh, how fast they grow and how great achievement they, you know, they've done for the community. In Chinese, you know, the history, being here in the United States for many, many years, but they haven't really been recognized. Well, I think you're taking a stab at that. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think, and mm -hmm. I think it's important on mm -hmm. really incumbent upon leaders like you to showcase uh, the uh, the work and actually you, be you a leader. Are the same. Yeah, you are the same. <laughs> I learn a lot from uh, both you and VG. And for this, 30, you, you've been 32 years, right? Yes. 32 years. There must be lots of stories, the touching moment, exciting moment, right? There were, you know, it's hard to reflect on such a long period. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think when you, um, when I see the kinds of stories that we've done, you know, when our, we came out with our 30th anniversary issue, mm -hmm. uh, we had time as a project, you know, my editors and I, we came, our project was, let's look at all the stories that we have done mm. in the last 30 years. How many stories? I don't know. Countless. <laughs> thousands, <laughs> thousands of stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, a large number of them are documented on our website, but mm -hmm. you know, not all of them are mm -hmm. because the internet came around much later. Mm -hmm. And stories of change in the community, while we started with talking about events and artists, mm -hmm. because that was a common ground mm -hmm. drawing people together. Yes. But as a lot of people came in, mm -hmm. Uh, the needs of our community changed. Mm -hmm. And we call India Currents a community magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, why do I call it community magazine? Because mm -hmm. it's actually created by mm -hmm. our community. Mm -hmm. We don't have any writers in-house. Mm -hmm. All our writings are actually done by community members. Mm -hmm. We have only editors in-house. How, how many writers do you have? Every month there are new writers. Oh, every month every the magazine month. has mm -hmm. a fresh feel because mm -hmm. every month there are new people whose mm -hmm. voices find a place in mm -hmm. India Currents. Mm -hmm. We have editors in-house, mm -hmm. as I said, mm -hmm. and their job is to make sure that the mm -hmm. stories that are coming from our communities uh, are told in a fashion mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. also true. Yeah, the, you know? the interesting, yes. you know, I read your, your magazine and I was really amazed. Because so, you know, stories that touch my life. For mm -hmm. example, you know, mm -hmm. I had family that came here on an H-1 visa. Mm -hmm. Today we are talking a lot about H-1B mm -hmm. visa mm -hmm. and then H-4 visas. Mm -hmm. These are issues that are actually directly uh, connected with the mm -hmm. Indian community mm -hmm. because a large number of them mm -hmm. came through those visas. Mm -hmm. So we started writing stories about them, mm -hmm. you know. Then I was raising, I had uh, children mm -hmm. and I was raising a family. I was looking after the home as well as looking Mm -hmm. um, to the world outside, mm -hmm. you know, women like us who were what we call the sandwich generation. Mm -hmm. So we did stories about, yes, you know, mm -hmm. the um, women who were doing, you know, managing mm -hmm. elder care as well as mm -hmm. uh, child care. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. as my children grew up, I find out in their high schools, mm -hmm. there were students who mm -hmm. didn't come from um, com economically um, comfortable homes. So, you know, they had to work mm -hmm. out as soon mm -hmm. as they got done with school, they went and worked in their family businesses. Mm -hmm. So then 
there is this I image about the Indian community being the model minority, mm -hmm. but that's a myth. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a small segment of people that are successful in the Silicon yes. Valley, mm -hmm. and they sort of stereotype the entire community. Mm. And that's not true. And it's that's a, not it's so similar with Chinese community, you know, it's the same, you know, you see the Chinese community, some people are very successful and very rich, uh, you know, accomplished, but many people are struggling. Yeah. And when we are working with Chinese community, we see the issues and the things that really they really care. Yeah. And so we want to help them connect with the people, connect with the resource. So Actually, we started Silicon Valley Entrepreneurs Festival uh, because we are entrepreneur. And we started a, first. We we started a Silicon Valley uh, Entrepreneur Forum at this place, at this place. <laughs> Wonderful. But each time, you know, many people came in. Uh, they said, "Well, your your place is so small. We cannot fit in here. Why don't you have a larger place and have more speakers and give us more time? And we can interact with them. We can learn from them." So we started Silicon Valley Entrepreneur Festival. This has been three years. Today, you know, this year is going to be fourth. Uh, I know. I found out about uh, it uh, at uh, an event recently. Congratulations on becoming you. the thank president you. of the US, oh, US China, China Chamber, Chamber of, of Commerce. Commerce. You see, we are already very busy, but we take so many responsibilities. <laughs> but I think I have found that people who are busy are also great taskmasters, mm. and they deliver on stuff yes. that the uh, busy people make things done. You find that right? <laughs> That's very interesting. true. Very but true. The thing is, you know, when we are busy outside with our dream and our business, actually our family support is so important. Very I, true. Yeah, very, very true. true. I'm very thankful for my husband. You see the picture of him putting together. When we first moved in this uh, studio, it's empty. We don't have anything in this place. So he set up the lighting, the everything, the tables. He even did that by himself. He's so handy. <laughs> and I, I have to say the same about my partner Vijay. Mm. You know, he mm. is 100% uh, mm. supportive of mm. everything that I do, drives me around mm. all the time. So that's why we took a picture with him, put him in the video, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And you have seen. Um, mm. It's not just that. I think mm. uh, uh, it's important to have supportive people around mm. you. Mm -hmm. We become successful and yes. in what we do yes. because of mm. the people that support us mm. um, and I think there are many such people in this uh, area and mm. for this I really have to the one mm. people that I have to thank mm. and call out for mm. this the work is you know allies that I've had along the way mm. my editors mm. people that other people that I've worked with mm. everyone we are living in the Silicon Valley mm. where everyone can go get a you mm. know high paying job mm -hmm. and but the sense of community, mm -hmm. of being able to do something for our mm. community. Can we change a picture? <laughs> Don't put us, that's a double people here <laughs> sitting here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I want to thank our team too. They work very hard uh, for the, well, production because you see how efficient we are. We produce so many contents. So our t we have a very good team. Um, you know, they sacrificed a lot of their weekends, their family time. You know, as a startup, we always work like this. And we are, I'm, I feel like I'm so lucky and fortunate. I've been in the Cupertino Rotary Club for seven, eight years and in Santa Clara Chamber of Commerce for seven years. Mm. This is the community I belong and recently I become a president of US China Chamber of Commerce, uh, Silicon Valley. I feel this community is so important for us. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the driving force mm -hmm. for me as well, mm -hmm. you know. And I think when we met, that was the reason we connected because yeah, I think there is so a shared similar. vision of what we want for our mm -hmm. communities, the, mm -hmm. these communities that we serve. Mm -hmm. And I think um, we need to find other people. You know, we. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm mm -hmm. also. I introduced you to Ethnic Media mm -hmm. uh, Services. Oh, yeah. You know, thank you. Is, uh, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, I think there is value close. in. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm a lot of us coming together because mm. our vision is the same. Mm, yes. Vision of creating a community where everybody understands each other. Mm -hmm. And we have a showcase. We mm. provide a platform. Mm -hmm. You provide a television station. I have, uh, you know, I mm. had a magazine. Now it's a digital magazine. Mm. 
where we reach our stories to and share them with the community at large. Mm -hmm. If you know me, you know the kind of stories mm -hmm. and about our lives and mm -hmm. what drives us. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer an unknown person. Yes. My community is no yes. longer an unknown to you. We be become the promotional partner. We also become the partner for introduce the connections and yes. connecting more people. Yeah. Yes. And uh, in the last 30 years, I've gotten to know a lot of people in mm -hmm. the Indian community. And mm -hmm. for example, any time I come across mm -hmm. uh, anything that uh, there's an opportunity to collaborate mm -hmm. across cultures, uh, I always grab that. Yes, that, that's that's same as me, same here. You know, we, we, all we feel is so important because we are the first generation here. We work very hard, but next generation, they live a, you know, literally easier life. So we feel that's important that bring the civic uh, engagement for our community and for the next generation. So we started a civic leadership forum and uh, with help with Civic Leadership Forum USA, uh, with, with their help and with their guidance, we started this last year. And I feel that's so important and we have the same, we share the same goal and same uh, vision for this. So we've been working together on this. Yes, and yes. Uh, I think that's a very important mm. point. Mm. And this is something I'm really passionate about. Mm. Even in mm. our magazine for the last several mm -hmm. years, we've been educating our community of readers mm -hmm. that it's important to get engaged in the civic processes in the mm. country that mm. uh, we are living in. Exactly. And uh, you can get engaged in various capacities. Mm. So I'm very excited to actually partner with you uh, mm -hmm. this year. We're so and so honored and so happy that you are able to work together with us. Yes, and uh, I'm also happy to see that mm -hmm. our communities are getting uh, engaged. You know, mm -hmm. I have had the opportunity to hear many of the speakers last mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. and um, excited about what we will present this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. There are so many aspects that people can participate in, contribute in. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. we will bring the Indian and Chinese uh, community together. Communities yeah, because together you, on the you, show. you reach a large, uh, large uh, number of people in Indian community. We reach a large number of uh, Chinese community people. So when we create a story like this, and we have our heroes to share their own stories, inspire next generations. That from our platform, we can reach more people. And in the future, we would like to invite more uh, ethnic media or other media or any group who share the same goal and same dream and come to join us together. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. like bringing allies together, isn't yes, it? exactly. Regardless of where they come from. Exactly. You know, for all these years we are doing Dinin TV and I feel like we learn a lot. And our slogan is connecting dreams. Uh, connecting dreams, you know, between uh, communities and also between United States and China and also between uh, in entrepreneurs and investors and like communities community leaders like you and other medias together. I think connecting dream is really something that we share in common, common passion. Yes, and uh, mm -hmm. commu uh, connecting people, mm -hmm. connecting dreams, that's a lovely way of saying it. Mm -hmm. um, we used to call ourselves the complete Indian American magazine, mm -hmm. but um, now that we are digital, you mm -hmm. know, I realize mm -hmm. Uh, Google Analytics gives you a lot of very interesting data. Mm -hmm. And uh, we find <laughs> that we have readers across the globe. Mm -hmm. So we've actually recently changed our tagline to become home of the global Indian. Mm. Home so, of global Indian. Indian. Yes. Because we find that mm -hmm. the Indian diaspora, whether mm -hmm. in the United States or uh, in Australia mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. in Europe, mm -hmm. Our, our concerns are the same. We all want to sort of preserve part of our culture and heritage, mm -hmm. but we also want to assimilate mm -hmm. into our new home countries mm -hmm. and become productive citizens over there. Yes, that's, that's very important. You know, even though right now there's a trade war, uh, but I don't feel like, you know, there's have separate people because it's all about the friendship, about the trust. So when we build up this trust and the friendship, nothing can change that. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. again, to, mm -hmm. may, to that point, you know, when I said, when we know about mm -hmm. each other, mm -hmm. then uh, exactly. you're no longer like the other. You yeah, know? exactly. You, especially, you know, we, we know many uh, good stories from China, from mainland China too, uh, those great entrepreneurs and real innovations. And we, when we have the Silicon Valley Entrepreneur Festival, we really want to bring the stories and have the, 
you know, global entrepreneurs to share each other's story and experience and really know the innovation on different places. It's not like oh, some countries copy this, which is not true, which is really not true. When you really, you know, understand the, the real story, you find it's so amazing. There are so many great people, yeah. Yeah, and mm. I look forward to uh, seeing uh, this, the festival this year, and there are some Indian companies that are also doing that. Uh, we will bring them together, and wow. I'm sure what the best thing that we can do is bring people together, yes. and where they take it from there is mm -hmm. up to the organizations yes. themselves. Yeah, I think that you know, really, I'm, I'm so thankful because when I was the other day, we would sit down together and listen to your stories. Well, wow, 32 years, which is so amazing. You still look so young. <laughs> you know, dream uh, make keep you younger, keep you young. Yeah. Our dreams uh -huh. uh, keep us uh, vibrant. Yeah, keep us vibrant. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I had written a, mm -hmm. a s small note. Yes. And um, I'd like to share that with yeah, you. Yeah, sure, please. I read, wrote this on the 30th anniversary mm -hmm. of our uh, mm -hmm. magazine, mm -hmm. reflecting upon what it was in 1987 and what it was in 2017. 1987, a new immigrant in a foreign land, incredible loneliness, phone calls to India at $3.50 a minute. Wow. Aerograms cost 36 cents. It takes 28 days to get a reply. Mm -hmm. Were there others like me? How did they cope? Mm -hmm. I scanned the local newspapers. Mm -hmm. No news of anything familiar. Iran Contra. India, if ever mentioned, was in the news of the weird. Mm -hmm. Dow Jones was a 2,372. Was this my new reality? Mm -hmm. Mother to twin boys. Satisfaction of creating a family, a home, yet nothing familiar to anchor me. Mm. Craving the tastes of home, craving the sounds of home. Rasmalai, mm. make it with ricotta cheese. Croon to Lata and Kishko, Kishore on spooling cassette tapes. Were there others like me? Mm. How do I reach them? India Currents is born. Mm. A platform to share events and thoughts that were familiar. No plans, forecasts, or ROI. Mm. A hunger to share. Mm. A desire to explore our new identities. Mm -hmm. The challenge of finding resources. The thrill of discovering fellow travelers. Mm -hmm. The hunger to belong. Mm -hmm. 2017, mm -hmm. a vibrant social life. Mm -hmm. FaceTime my mom every day. WhatsApp for free. Mm -hmm. Share life with people across the globe. I scan the local newspapers, now featuring Indian Americans regularly. I read about the global rush to harness the buying power of the Indian middle class. The Dow Jones is 20,668. I'm a mother-in-law now. I buy Ras Malai at Costco. I stream Hindi music on my iPhone. India Current celebrates its 30th anniversary. The original quest to explore our hyphenated identities stays strong. The aspirations of our community have not changed. Mm. The hunger remains. Mm. The hunger to belong, mm. the hunger to connect. Well, the hunger to belong, the hunger to connect. That's exactly how I feel. And I believe that how many of our immigrants got the same feeling. So, you know, this is how meaningful what we are doing here in Silicon Valley, Indian Current and Dinding TV. Indian American and Chinese American Silicon Valley Innovation Channel. Uh, I think, you know, when I'm listening to your story and share my story, we're at the 10th anniversary. We feel that so many people are not alone. We are together. Yes. yes. And mm -hmm. that is, uh, mm -hmm. I realize mm -hmm. that there are so many people just like us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think together we can do something mm -hmm. really meaningful. Exactly. And I think mm -hmm. both you and I are doing it because uh, we believe this is really important. Mm -hmm. It's really important for us to serve our community yes, in this way. Exactly. So believe in dreams. Together we create and we'll continue creating this. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank it's you. It's so wonderful. It's not like our, you know, uh, normally what we do this interview, like question and answers. It's like we share the story together. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me and Thank giving you. me this chance to share my story. Thank you.